Should my noodler's dragon's napalm, I'm surprised I did not just screw up saying that. Um, the noodler's dragon's napalm have metallic looking chunks in it. Will they hurt my pen? I know exactly what you're talking about. That has it, as does uh, Georgia Peach has that in, the, in most of the time. I've asked Nathan about this. I've had several conversations about what it is, what's causing it, will it hurt the pen, and so on. Um, what it is, it's actually a chemical reaction. It's, a, it's called chemical sedimentation. Um, and it has to do with the different dyes that react in that ink and the way that they bond to each other at like a chemical molecular level, whatever. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Um, but the way that they bond, they bond and then there's so much of that dye in there, it kind of bonds and then settles out down into the bottom. And it kind of creates almost what looks like glitter inside the, just those particular inks. It ends up looking like glitter. Um, there's other forms of chemical sedimentation. Diamine pumpkin has a lot of that. Jerobon rouge hematite. Um, Jerobon stormy gray is a perfect example of some of that sedimentation that can fall out. Um, sometimes it's because of pigmentation or other, other things like that. I don't know. I'm kind of speculating now at this point because I don't have that kind of insight into the chemical makeup of these inks. It's secret even for me. So. Um, the specifically the dragon's napalm though has almost like this glittery type chemical sedimentation that settles out. Uh, I've been told by Nathan that it is not harmful to your pen, that it will you know break down with water and stuff like that, just like normal. So if you want to, you could like run that ink through a coffee filter and get that junk out of there and then pour it back in the bottle. That is definitely one thing you could do um, if you don't like that being in there. Uh, but if if you do, I would be careful with that because you've got to pour very slowly. I've had some. <laughs> Some interesting fails uh, trying to filter, you know, ink through a coffee filter because I poured it too fast. It takes a little while to trickle through there. Uh, but anyway, so um, that's one thing that you could try, or like a nylon pantyhose or something would also work too, probably. Um, so that's something that you could look out for. Um, uh, but honestly, Nathan said that you don't really need to get that stuff out of there. You just let it settle to the bottom, fill your pen like normal, and then just you know toss it when it gets down to the very bottom, and, and that's all you need to worry about. So it really shouldn't cause any problem. If it really freaks you out, do this, do the filter thing, and that should get that out of there. But um, that's kind of what it is. And Dragon's Napalm, too, I didn't even realize this. It takes at least six months for Nathan to actually make that ink. Just the way that the dyes have to react and stuff, it takes about six months. So whatever you're using has been, been at least six months after he's mixed it or whatever. So that might, that might have something to do with how long it takes. You know, I had no idea how long it takes Nathan to make some of these inks. That's why supply can kind of run out here and there. Part of it might be, you know, issues with supply chain and stuff, but also it's just how long it takes to make.